logic gates. So what is it like? Block gates is nothing but a circuit with more with one or more than one input, but only one output. But each gate performs some particular logic function. That is the logic gates. And types of logic gates are not and or nan nor x or and x not. Not which performs complementation and gate performs logical multiplication or gate performs logical addition. NAND gate is a complement of AND gate. So first it performs multiplication and next complementation. NOR gate is a complement of OR gate. NOR gate performs OR and then complementation. XOR gate and XNOR gate are the special function gates. So totally seven logic gates are there. NOT and OR are the basic gates. NAND and NOR are the universal gates. XOR and XNOR are the special function gates. So first we'll see the NOT gate, its symbol and the truth strip. So what is it NOT gate? NOT gate is also called as an inversion. It performs inversion or complementation. So the, this is a symbol of NOT gate, arrowhead with a bubble. So if A is the input, A bar will be the output. We can represent output as a X or a Y. So if A is the input, A bar is the output. In a sense, if A is 0, A bar, the output will be A bar means 1. If A is 1, the output A bar here, A bar will be 0. So complement of input is the output of not gate. So in this symbol, the bubble represents inversion or a complementation. So not gate is a gate with single input and single output. Next, AND gate. AND gate which performs logical multiplication and operator if we see operator it's a dot sign or without a dot are not showing any operator so AND gate minimum inputs is two and only one output the output of AND gate if you see the two table here I have considered A and B as the input so the output X is nothing but Logical multiplication of inputs A into B. So if A and B are the two inputs, there will be four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So when we perform logical multiplication, 0 into 0 will be 0, 0 into 1 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0, and 1 into 1 is 1. So in the output, we have an output which is low as well as high. So when the output is low, the output is low when any one of the input is low. So if we see here, one of the input is low and here it is low and here it is low. So we can write one more definitions uh, by seeing the truth table. That is, the output of AND gate is low when any one of the input is low. And the output is high when both the inputs are high. Next is OR gate. OR gate performs logical addition. And the R operator is plus sign. If you consider A and B as two inputs, output is X is equal to A plus B or Y is equal to A plus B. Logical addition. So the R which minimum number of inputs are two and only one output. And if you see the two table, since A and B are the two inputs, there will be four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So logical addition between these two bits, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1. And here the output is low and high. The output is low when both the inputs are low. And the output is high when any one of the input is high. NAND gate. NAND gate is a complement of AND gate. Or we can say NAND gate is a combination of AND and NOT gate. Its function is first it multiplies the input and next it takes a complement. So first multiplication and then complementation. So we write the expression as if A and B are the two inputs, the output is written as A into B the whole bar. Means first it multiplies the input and then it takes a complement. The output of NAND gate is the complement of the multiplication of two inputs. And the truth table a and B is input here. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are all the combinations. So first finding A into B means NAND multiplies and then take complement. So 0 into 0 is 0. Complement of 0 is 1. 0 into 1 is 1. Sorry, 0 into 1 is 0. Complement is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. Complement is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Complement is 0. So A into B. 
the whole bar is the output expression of NAND gate. And here the output is low when inputs are 1. And the output is 1 when any one of the input is 0. Next, NOR gate. NOR is a combination of OR and NOT gate. Means NOR is a complement of OR gate. So even we can say is a combination of OR and NOT gate. So OR in essence logical addition, NOT is a complementation. So its function is first adding two bits and next taking complement. The output of NOR gate is the addition of two bits after that complementation. So, if A and B are the two inputs, combinations will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So, first taking addition of two bits, A plus B and then A plus B the whole bar. So, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1. And the complement of these output is 1, 0, 0, 0. And here the output is high when both the inputs are low and the output is low when any one of the input is high. And next is XOR gate. XOR gate are exclusive OR gate. And this is the symbol, symbol of the XOR gate. And operator is plus inside the circle. A XOR B. And A XOR B can be written as A B bar plus A bar B. And it's one of the special function gates because it performs, there is a Addition, there is a logical multiplication, even there is a complementation. And if we see the true table, since A and A X R B is the output, and we can write that as A B bar plus A bar B, X R K true table, A and B are the inputs. So first writing A, which is 0, 0, 1, 1, and A bar is a complement of this, which is 1, 1, 0, 0. And next B, 0, 1, 0, 1. And B bar is 1, 0, 1, 0. And next finding what is A bar into B. A bar into B because the equation is AXR B is equal to A B bar plus A bar into B. So first finding first term which is A bar B means multiplying A bar and B. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1 gate true table a and b are the two inputs so first writing a and b which is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 and next writing complement of a bar and b means a bar and b bar and next multiplying a into b bar and a bar into b and finally adding so we are getting the XR true table as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and the final answer which we got is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So from the true table we can write one more definition. The output is low when the inputs are same. So here we are getting the output as low when the inputs are 0, 0, 1, 1 means the inputs are same. So output is low when the inputs are same and the output is high when the inputs are different. Here it is 0, 1, here it is 1, 0. So, this is a definition of XR gate true table. And expression for AXR B is A bar B plus A B bar. And this is an equivalent circuit by using the basic gates A and A bar B and A bar into B by using the AND gate. And next term is A into B bar. Using an AND gate, it will be A into B bar. And adding these two terms by using a R gate. And the final answer is A bar B plus A B bar. And next XNOR gate. XNOR gate is a complement of XR gate or we can say it's a combination of XR gate and a NOT gate. So first it performs XR operation and then complementation. This is a symbol which is same as XR but there is a bubble here which means the complement of XR. Y equal to AXR B the whole bar which is A bar B plus AB bar the whole bar or we can write it in this manner. A into B plus A bar into B bar. And uh, the two table A and B 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and writing what is A bar and B bar 
and next finding what is a b bar and next a bar b and adding these two terms and taking complement of these output because x nor is a complement of x r so we get the output of x nor as 1 0 0 1 nor. means the output is high when the inputs are same and the output is low when the inputs are different and this is the equivalent circuit for x nor till here it is x or equivalent circuit where a bar b plus a b bar is the output of x r and when we add a not gate it will become x nor gate in boolean algebra law of complementation and law and there is or law commutative associative distributive we'll see the first one law of complementation means a complement of 0 will be 1 and complement of 1 will be 0. If a is equal to 0, then a bar will be 1. If a is 1, then a bar will be 0. If a double bar, if, if you take double complement of a, then we will get a itself. And look, a into 0 is equal to 0, a into 1 is a, a into a is a, a into a bar is equal to 0. Or law, no, a plus 0 is a, a plus 1 is 1, a plus a is a, a plus a bar means 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. And next, a plus a b. If you take a as common, you will get 1 plus b. Anything plus 1 is 1 and we will get a. a plus a bar b, which is a plus b. a bar plus a b, which is a bar plus a b. And next, a plus a bar b bar, which will be a plus a b bar and commutative law where a plus b is equal to b plus a a into b is equal to b into a we can prove it by using the two table first writing what is a and b and next writing the left side equation and then right side equation the answer comes same even for a into b and b into a associative law a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c a into b c is equal to a into b c this is a true table of that. Distributive law a into b plus c is equal to a b plus a c. a plus b c is equal to a plus b into a plus c. And a b c there are three variables. So writing three variables means 4 to 1 co from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1. And writing what is b plus c first which is the left side equation and x multiplying it with a and x right side equation first writing what is a b and then a c and then a b plus a c. Distributive law which is a into b plus c equal to a b plus a c a plus b c is equal to a plus b into a plus c. So now it's about the de Morgan's theorem first theorem. This theorem states that complement of sum of two or more variable is equal to product of complement of individual variable means a plus b the whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar plus is replaced by dot means uh, a plus b the whole bar formula is a bar into b bar a plus b plus c the whole bar is a bar into b bar into c bar. This is two variable and this is three variables. So the theorem states that the complement of sum of two or more variable is equal to product of complement of individual variables. Next logic diagram uh, for a plus b the whole bar. This is for a plus b the whole bar. So a plus b is by using R gate and uh, complementation by using a not gate. It's by using basic gate. So y is equal to a plus b the whole bar is equal to right hand side equation which is a bar into b bar so a bar is by using one not gate and b bar is another not gate and multiplying a bar and b bar by using and gate which is y equal to a bar into b bar even we can prove uh, it by using the truth table since there are two variables there will be four combination a and b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the next writing the complement of a and b which is a bar and b bar and adding a and b which is a plus b and then a plus b the whole bar which is a left hand side equation 1 0 0 0 and right hand equation is multiplying a bar and b bar so a bar into b bar will be 1 0 0 0 
and this is the two table for the three variables which is uh, a plus b plus c the whole bar which is a bar into b bar into c bar a b c a bar b bar c bar and a plus b plus c and complement of a plus b plus c which is a plus b plus c the whole bar and next a bar into b bar into c bar in second theorem definition, it states that the complement of product of two or more variables is equal to sum of complement of individual variables. Which is A minus B the whole bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. And A minus A, sorry, A dot B the whole bar, which is A bar plus B bar. And next A dot B dot C the whole bar is equal to A bar plus B bar plus C. C bar and logic diagram one is A into B no, uh, NAND gate which is Y equal to A into B the whole bar and next right hand equation A bar plus B bar A bar is by using NOT gate and B bar is by using another NOT gate adding this two will give Y bar is equal to A bar plus a B bar and truth table this is for the two variable a and B, A into B, A into B the whole bar, A bar, B bar and then A bar plus B bar. Even from the two table we have to get left hand side is equal to right hand side equation. And this is for the three variable A into B into C the whole bar which is A bar plus B bar plus C bar.